Hello inventors, in this video we will learn how we can create login and sign up form using Firebase authentication in a mighty app inventor. So that's the second part of our video. So in the first part we have learned how we can sign up and in that part in the second part we will learn how we can log in with token. So uh, go to the blog section and we can see what we have done. We have called one REST API and with the API key and we have passed here the email id and the password and we are returning here token now we have to save that token in some variable so we will create one more variable here global variable and that variable name is token and then just copy paste that value here and remove that text this is the blank now we have to save that token so on whenever we call that api so we will return that token so what we need to do we will create here simple uh, data so like just make a list so i will use here one more variable it's like this as a list data list and make this one as our empty list like this now we have to save uh, the data in that list so suppose data list here like this and then we have to convert that data into json format so click on that the web one and you will get your json object json text decode this one call it here and then we will convert response content here this one and then we need to find the token id and we will save that token id data in that variable so do that we need to do one thing here simply we need to call your one lookup function like click on list and you can see your lookup in pure so we need to find the pair in which data in that global data list and we have to save that key in that variable so call this global where so this one token set token value so first of all that token we will say here and in that token we have to say the key is the key is like id token let me show you where is that id token that one is our rest api and scroll down and you can see that id token just copy this okay go to here and copy this we have to find the id token and in which pair okay so we will get that in the data list Cool. and then we will display that id token in our label so we will just simply change that to token global token value like this like this and let's try it how it's for let me just put that another email id suppose uh, tcb at the rate gmail.com because we are not verifying that email id we're just trying to sign up here and the password is going to 3456 and then we just need to click on that the sign up button and you can see that's the token we have written okay it means we are uh, we have uh, received the token and we have saved that token in that uh, variable okay now we have to pass that token and we have to send verification link in that email id so how we can do that so first of all we have to call login url so or like a verification url so we need to create one variable here again okay? and that is for login so i will just put here login or verify email address and then on that here we just need to copy and paste one uh, one id here one rest api so go to the here and you will get the request token request password for that so find this here see here account send ob code that one we have to copy that id and go to here and then here we just need to paste remove that api key like this okay and then we have to call this so how we can call this so we just need to do one thing here whenever we click on that button or let me just do this uh, here so whenever we call that so we will uh, directly sign up like uh, let me just go to here and we just need to call it web two dot view set web url this one okay set web url here and in that url we have to pass that login and one we need to pass the key so we know that where is the key we have we need to use your join option this is the join this one 
global and the key we know that where is the key this one api we have to call it we have to call the api key here with this and we are passing this and we need to pass one more thing here we need to pass the email id okay and the request type so how we can do that so for that we need to use your one post method so click on that web tool and you will get here the post method post text this one call it here and we need to use your some join so you will get here this one join you can copy paste this one from here okay like this delete that one and change that web one to web two like this we need to pass id token so id token just t o k e l cool and what is the id token we have saved already saved that id token in that global variable global variable this one okay cool like this of like this we just need to call it here we are passing here id token one thing and we have to pass the request type also so ampersand like this and then request type request type okay request type equal like this request type equal and we need to we need to use here one more thing is verify email id like this and go to here and you will get here the option request type this one and we have to pass the email but one thing we need to do here so to search verify you can see the verify email should always like this we have to call this in the request type so just request type and here we need to pass this verify email simple okay like this and we have to remove that last one we have to remove that last one here now we need to just go to the here okay this one so let me just delete that all all these accounts from here okay cool uh, recently we have just added this just delete that delete that now we have to okay let me just make it over here now let me just sign up with my email id so first we need to do here just go to the here and we just need to refresh this first of all refresh this cool and yeah you can do one more thing here you can get the uh, you know uh, content like uh, response content so click on web view 2 and you will get that uh, got text and we will call this one in the response text here in the label 3 and that is the response content like this now let me just refresh this let me go to here and let me put my email id here the coding boss at the rate gmail.com and the password is 123456 and then click on sign up and yeah we have received that token but the inval invalid id token okay you can see that we are getting the error invalid id token so we have done one mistake here so you can see the id token we need to use your equal sign okay to pass the token this is important make sure we have to do equal we have to use your ampersand like all the thing uh, make clear here now let me just refresh that and let's try let me just delete that uh, account from here yes the coding was let me just remove that from here delete account okay and let's try again let's refresh this and let's go here and you can do one more thing you know just uh, click anywhere in the screen and just type here hid hide call screen one hide keyboard this one and we will call it after this response here now let me just uh, let me just go to here and let me put my email id again cool coding buzz at the rate gmail.com this one and the password is one two three four five six click on the sign up button so you can see we have received that thing it means our code is sent so let me just check that and you can see the no reply verify your email project cool this one we have received now we need to click on that link to verify our account so click on that link and you can see the account is verified now how can i check that account is verified or not okay this is important because whenever i click on that login button it means in that button it means in which button button one so there is no coding for that see there is nothing for that so how can i do the code for the login so it's simple so on that button one click okay 
So whenever someone click on that button button, it means login button, we can rename all these button name also, you know, like just rename that, like suppose login btn, like this, okay, or this button name is like sign up btn, like this, cool. So on that login button click, on that login button click, we need to pass the token and we need to get the uh, data. So go to the here, rash API, and you will get here, we get the account information and you can see the account lookup. This API is used for getting the account information. So just copy this whole, okay, API, okay. And then we need to just, you can copy from here, this one, go to the here and we will create one more, uh, one more variable here, go to the variable, initialize one more and just type here that get account info and in that we just need to call it here like here and just paste it cool and remove that api from here cool now what we need to do we need to call this so we need to call here so how we can do that so we need to call this from the another web view or you can make it from the uh, web view one so let me just try with web view one if it is not for then we will uh, do for web view two uh, web view three another okay so let me just try so we just need to first of all we just need to set that url so you can see here set web view url this one and we will set that url in the web view Two, oh sorry one okay and in that set url we need to pass uh, we need to set that url which one is a variable let me just copy paste here this url this one and just put it here change that this one to you can see the get account info that url and we have to pass the api key also okay we have to pass the api key you can see that api key we have to pass so we need to pass the API key, so we have to use join option here. See this one and copy paste here. And we know that the API key global variable is this global API. But we have to pass one more thing here is token. So, how we can pass it? So, we will pass it through like post method. So, we will use your value one. And you can see the post, post text, this one like here and in that first we need to uh, pass simply text is like this id token we have to pass id token equal and the id token is a token this one value cool and we will return something here so on that we will call here one thing here is like we will call this whenever we receive the uh, response so we will we already have called it i think here in the web view one dot text you can see the response so we will call this response here so we will call it in the last web view three dot text is return we will return the response uh, where is the response dot contact this one okay so let me try it's working or not and uh, let's see let me just delete that id again from here let me refresh this yes it's here let me just delete that account and let me just refresh that MIT app in that project like this and let's try to do that how it's work so suppose the coding was at the rate gmail.com and the password is suppose 123456 and then click on sign up it's working fine yes that one has sent the email also let me just try to log in click on that and you can see okay invalid token id okay cool then let me just go to here so what i can do here i can do one more thing here let me just change it to value 3 value 3 and the response one time just copy paste it here and that value 3 is got the response let me try with this it's working fine or not let me check this refresh this okay and let me do here and let me just try the, okay this will not work because we have to delete that account again okay i will explain you this thing also why we need to delete account again and again because we have to create the account because we need to generate the token 
yeah we have a, a solution for that also so first let me just the coding was at the gmail.com and the password is like that and click on sign up see uh, email it's sent now let me click on that login button yes we have received the here option and you can see the email verified you can see the option email verified is false okay now go to the in my email here uh, open my email here this one and now we need to click on that email and wait some seconds yes verify now go to the MIT inventor and click on login again you can see that value is false as well let's see now click on login again you can see this is true now why because we have no, we have clicked on that the link we have verified our email address cool now how we can open the another screen so there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of option to do that so what i will do i will find the true in that overall content to make it to all uh, you can to find the or to go to the another screen so it's a very basic thing or you can do uh, another thing also so but we will do that basic thing so wherever we got the text here so we will use your condition like control this if if okay so if the uh, like uh, in, in the text it means in which text in the level 3 level 3 dot text we are this one okay so wait a second let's just delete this we need to find the local so click on list and you can see here click on text sorry and you will get here the content text this one if text which text text box 3 dot text level 3 dot text this one if that text the content if that content the true okay if that content the true then we will open the another screen open another screen okay open another screen this one we will call and we will call your screen 2 this one screen 2 or if this is not true it means false it means in the else we will call here one notifier go to the design call it notifier here go to the default and uh, just call notifier here and we will use a simple notifier this one and we will just say in the message please verify your mail id please verify email please verify your email okay and in the title we just say the email status cool and the button we just say okay cool good now let me just try this okay so first of all we have to delete that this one from here delete account and then refresh that project overall project and let's go to the here and let's try again what i can do here i can go to the design i can make this one text box to value to at least 20 to make it visible to all and go here and then put my email id here the coding buzz at the rate gmail.com this password is you can do anything like let me just put jjj jjj okay go like this and then click on that sign up button See, we have received the token, we have received the ID also. So let me try to log in. Click on login. See, please verify your email. See, I will say okay, I have to verify. Then just click on that and let me verify my email ID. Yes, your email has been verified. Go to here and click on login again. Wait some seconds and see screen 2. So there are a lot of things you can do with this API, you know. There's thing like the uh, rest api and you will see here sign in or uh, sign in with the credential uh, provides for email send password recent email id there are a lot of things you can delete the account so you just need to use all these api and create your own app okay so if you need any help on that so just comment on the video i'll try my best to solve your problems thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye